بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا رسول الله أعزائي المشاهدين أهلا وسهلا بكم Dear viewers, welcome to a new episode of When Science Meets the Quran Today, I'll be talking about Al-Nur chapter in the Holy Quran We all know the light or illumination verses in the Quran Allah is the light of the heavens and the earth The example of His light is like a niche Within it is a lamp The lamp is within glass The glass as if it were a pearly white star Lit from the oil of a blessed olive tree Neither of the east nor of the West, whose oil would almost glow even if untouched by fire. Light upon light, Allah guides to His light whom He wills. I call these verses the verses of laser. What's laser? In this day and age, we all know about laser. It's used in many industrial applications, medical and military. It is simply the use of light. God in these verses sets many signifiers. We know that the Holy Quran has many facets of interpretations. Every interpreter explains the Holy Verses according to their knowledge. Be it linguistic, medical, industrial, or physical piece of information. They try. Everyone tries. However, before I move any further in my explanation, let's try to understand the nature of laser. What is laser? What are its components? Laser is a medium. Solid, as ruby for instance, or gas, such as CO2, or semiconductor. This medium is shot from a heat source, be it electrical or lighting. It stimulates the electrons or the photons of this medium and push it off or stimulates it. When they are stimulated, they push off. As they move, they hit a mirror, a reflector that hits the medium again, which releases photon by another reflective mirror. The reflected light is trapped between the two mirrors. In other words, it's like adding a ray of photons to another ray of photons. This is what God meant by light upon light. This wave spectrum of the beam has in fact one wavelength. This light in the room, why it doesn't hurt us? Because it doesn't come in one wavelength. If this one wavelength is combined to others, it becomes amplified. Laser means amplified accumulated light. If the accumulation is set on the same pattern, the intensity of light amplified becomes laser. Let's look at the verses. First, the medium. God said, it is lit by oil. This oil is olive oil that comes from a tree, neither from the east nor from the west. So, where is it coming from? It's an order for us to make more experiments on olive oil. For instance, the olive oil that comes from the land of Palestine. 
and compare it to the olive oils that comes from the east or from the western regions. The purpose is to take the electrons that hit a ray of light or heat. These photons might not come out of oil itself, but from the vapor of the oil. God said, whose oil would almost glow even untouched by fire, which means that the oil vapor is highly flammable. God stressed on this point. Another source of laser is electric power. God mentioned, it is in a lamp, which means a source of energy. Another part of a laser apparatus is a reflector. God mentioned a niche. This is called in Arabic, mishkat. It is a reflective piece of glass behind the lamp in order to increase the strength of the light. God also said that this source of light and power is like a white pearly planet like a crystal, so to speak. This is a crystal prism that analyzes light because one band of light is used. This band of ray will be reflected between the two mirrors in order to increase the intensity of the light by the multiplication of the reflections. Therefore, God said light upon light, which means amplifications or intensifications of rays of light and wavelength in order to increase the power of laser light that can be strong enough to be used to cut iron, metals, and the treatment of eyes, which means it can be so weak or so strong to perform medical and industrial operations. I think when God says those words, He meant to talk to us in the language of science so we can benefit from the photons. The world now and in the future is a world of using the light or using the photons. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you again. Goodbye.